Hi guys, welcome to this week's cooking video. The dish has been requested by a lot of you guys on stream, so let's do it. Welcome to GNM Try Cooking. You might be wondering what we'll be making today. After a little thought, I've decided to go with some ribs. And as a side dish, we'll, we'll also be making some sort of a salad. Now, let's get the ribs out of the refrigerator. As you can see, I've a marinade beside me and I've also marinated the ribs themselves in advance. I did this yesterday evening, so let's take a look at that process. So guys, let's begin with the marinade. We are going to make two marinades, one rubbing marinade that's been made right now and then one cooking marinade that will be poured on top of the ribs once they are in the oven tomorrow. We start with some garlic and a red onion, after that we add brown sugar, salt, olive oil and some different seasonings. We cut the rib in some smaller pieces and then we start rubbing the marinade in. Now we can move on to the second marinade. This one will have to boil for a little while, so since we'll be adding alcohol into it. It will also contain an onion, some mustard, a tomato, olive oil, chili flakes, more brown sugar, a pepper and some orange zest. Be sure to boil out the alcohol though. So now that you guys have seen how I've prepared the marinade, let's put the ribs on an oven plate and let's pour the second marinade on top of it. After that the plate can go in the oven, we've preheated the oven for a little bit, it's almost at 180 degrees celsius. Uh, we'll let the ribs cook for around an hour and an, or an hour and a half. Uh, we'll let it go for a half an hour and then we'll start with the side dish. The side dish is going to be a fairly simple salad. So we won't be going over how we make it, but instead we'll go and answer some of the Q&A questions. Ovi Bricks asks, what type of editing platform do you use on your videos? We use Filmora on our videos. Uh, it's a paid version, but it's a really simple to learn editing uh, program. So if you guys are looking for something and I mean, it's paid, but still very good. So. Give it a try, Filmora it is. Question from Commando Brick. Would you ever want to do trailers for big mocks? Yes, of course, we did a trailer for our Naboo mock before we uploaded the big showcase videos. We'll only do it, I think, for our building series like Geonosis and the clone base, but we'll definitely do some more in the future. A question from CM's Brick Productions. He says, try to do a Lego stop motion, just Try, please just try. Yeah, maybe. Brickboy374 asks, what do you think are the, the pieces most worth getting on Bricklink? Uh, well, it depends mostly on what you're currently building and what you're thinking on building next. But for a general rule of thumb, uh, I'd say greens, tans, uh, light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, and plant pieces are always pieces that you can use and that you'll need more of once you try to make more detailed or bigger mocks so those ones for sure keep an eye on senders3 lego asks what is one of your favorite lego techniques well of course not is a technique that we use a lot and like and second probably flex tubes you can do some really crazy things with those but we don't have a lot of experience with that as of yet Liam Mation Studios asks, have you played Minecraft? Yes, of course, everyone has played Minecraft. Uh, yeah, really enjoyable game. Didn't play it the last years, but maybe, maybe I'll play it again somewhere in the future, but it's definitely a fun game. A question from Brick Brick, how old are you? We are both 19 years old. Next up, Spider Duck Studios ask, what video games do you like to play? Well, Max enjoys GTA V and Civilizations the most, and I'm more of a story-driven uh, gamer, so Assassin's Creed is one that I really enjoy, all of them, and For Honor, a more obscure game. What's your favorite LEGO set? A question from LEGO Lords Workshop. The le favorite LEGO set that I have in my collection is the Star Destroyer, and the one that I 
really like in general is the U is it UCS scale <laughs> dropship. Uh, for me, in my collection, it's gonna be uh, the Tower of Orthanc from the Latter Ring series. And the one that I really want to get is the Republic Frigate. Question from 501st Lego. What's your personal favorite mock you have ever made? Uh, normally for us, the last one we made is our favorite one. But like, we need to be fair that Naboo was definitely one of our favorites as well as our huge Christophsis mock. That mock was almost two meters long, so a really impressive mock also one of our favorites and then uh, heavy is dead the last one we made also definitely one that deserves the title one of our favorites next we have gecko he asks are all of the sets you have bought what set are you most disappointed in uh, well a couple of years ago i bought the first order um, crawler set i don't know exactly how it how it's called but like i was pretty excited when i saw it but then when i realized that it wasn't in the movie and the build itself was actually kind of bad i got pretty disappointed so i scrapped it for pieces basically then the question from joe mikula 7567 tips for felucia mock I think that the biggest tip that I could give you, same that I would give for an Umbara mock, try to be different, basically. Like I've seen a lot of Felucia mocks out there and most of them can generally be uh, talked about in a couple of words, lots of plans, uh, tan and clones. Like my biggest tip would basically be try to differentiate yourself from those mocks, try to think of something more creative. And yeah, that's the biggest part. Try to be creative and don't go for the same lame ideas as most people. Now that the salad and ribs are ready, we'll just put them on a plate and try to dress them. That was it for this short little Q&A slash April Fool's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Subscribe.